Hello, welcome to episode four of the Distro Spinner. Um, so last week we got Robo Linux, unfortunately. If you want to go and watch the video, click up there. That will probably be the last time you see Robo Linux on this channel. So savor it. <laughs> the newest edition this week is Dragonfly BSD. Um, it doesn't have to be a Linux distribution. I'm more than happy to cover BSDs as well in this series. So if you want to suggest anything in the comments, as long as it's not too outlandish, I'll more than likely put it on the board. So let's spin the wheel. Give me something good this week, please. I need to wash Robo Linux out of my mouth. Ah, Regatta OS. I've been wanting to use this for a little while. Right, so we're now in the live environment, booted off a USB. I've connected Ethernet, so we don't have to worry about setting our Wi-Fi up for the moment. It appears to be in Spanish, or Portuguese maybe, I think it said in the installer and had a quick look. So I've done a bit of reading before, well, while I was DDing the image to a USB. It appears to be based on OpenSUSE. It's using KDE as a desktop environment. Um, Portuguese, it's Brazil, it says there. Uh, but we're going to go for British English, and it targets creators and gamers, so I think I fall directly into that category, so I think this is going to be a good week. I'm a lot more pumped about this one than I was the last one. So we're just going to go to Erase Disk, and then we're going to go to Swap with Hibernate. So that will give us a swap size of 17 gig and a EFI partition and just a root, so that's fine. Let's go to Next. Uh, make sure that looks all good. It does indeed. Let's go to install. Right, we're going to install that now. And then once that's installed, I'll very briefly just have a quick, quick look at it. But then we'll save most of it for the follow-up video in a week's time. Okay, so we've booted off disk here and it's, um, it's come up with another little thing here. So let's just configure this with the right settings. And we should then get to the desktop. Let's go to next. Um, let's change that to Europe. And then change the time zone to London. Okay, let's go to next. Right, English UK, and we want it to be on English UK. Has it just got the English UK default? Oh dear. Let's go for extended with win keys, extended with. Hmm. Let me just test what this one's like. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, I think that's all good. We're gonna go for that. If need be, we'll change it later. Let's go to next. Okay, let's set up our user accounts. I was about to say, we didn't do this in the installer. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Okay, so it automatically checks these two boxes for you here, log in automatically and use same password for administrator account. I apologise by the way because I'm sort of looking at two screens. I can't mirror it yet until I'm in the set in the actual distribution. Right, set time zone to Europe, London, system language, English, United Kingdom, numbers and dates, locale, English, United Kingdom, keyboard. Um, hmm, we'll see how we'll see how we go with this keyboard setting. We might have to change it. Right, configuration not writable. Oh dear. Okay, and we now need to do another reset. You may now restart into your new system or continue using live environment. Okay, we're going to restart now. I like that um, logo. I won't pause it here. We'll see how quickly it starts up. Where's my coffee? It will catch up with the capture screen. Yeah. Okay, I've got the um, logo on my screen. It won't appear on this screen. I wouldn't have thought until I mirror the displays. Right, I think we are in. Yep, yeah, language looks all good. Okay. Nice wallpaper, I like that. So we are connected with Refinet. I'm going to turn Bluetooth off. No need for Bluetooth to be on. Alright, as I say, we're not going to go through too much here. Oh, well, I've not even got the screen more mirrored. Let me just mirror the screens for a moment. System settings, let's go into monitor. I'll show you the system settings. Right, so we want to go to display and monitor. And I just want to go to unify outputs. And then I can stop cramping my neck looking over here. Boom, right, okay. So I'm just gonna quickly see what it's installed with and then I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna come back in a week and I'll tell you how I found it. So what do we have? We have Regatta OS Game Access. Access your window games from Regatta OS. 
interesting we have an update as well let's grab that update huh regatta os game access interesting okay i'll have a look at this in the follow-up video very cool right let's grab that update oh wrong one that's the notifications there we go so it's open 2020 update and it's a security update for libsolve libzip and zipper so let's just go to install updates and we'll let that do that right let's see what we've got then is if we close that no let's close this okay update is all done we have more updates now <laughs> okay let's quickly grab them as well so let's just go to install updates and i'm going to leave it to do that oh we got an error requires wine staging 32 bit right we'll get I'll, I'll do all of this off screen and then we'll we'll get to this all in the follow-up so let's just have a look at what it comes installed with applications wise so it comes with toys and regard to game os regard to os game access which is what we just looked at it has gwen view image scan ocular and scan light i would have thought it might have had gimp though as it says it's for content creators and things like that we have Firefox for our web browser, Knet Attach Network Folder Wizard, Regatta OS Store. Let's just have a very quick look at that. Let's keep going. So that was internet. In multimedia, we now have, huh, look at that. Interesting. Right, in multimedia, we now have just VLC. In Office, we have Ocular. In Settings, we have so yast as well so you've got the yast thing that you'd find on open i'm sure you've used it before if you've used open before um, you can do a lot of the stuff that you might have to do in a terminal and it has a little gui there for you to do it you might like it you might not you might <laughs> it's a controversial topic the old yast thing okay so this is their software store and it has categories to the left with jogo so i'm going to assume that's meant to be games photos okay so it's not carried over our language settings to this application here so yast is all in the right so i think all of their applications that there are theirs and might have some problem with the english or might just be this page todos os jogos okay i think this might also have a bit of an issue with some language as well i'll get into all of that in a follow-up video and hopefully we can get it all set up in the correct language um, it looks like quite a nice little setup though. I thought it was going to have a couple of default programs like, you know, Caden Live and stuff because they show it on the website. But I assume it's just, you know, a featured application that you can install at a later date. So that's Regatta OS and that's what we're going to be using for the week now. I'm actually a lot more excited about this one than Robo Linux with hindsight. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.